Hello, Monsters Abound here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Immortal Empires and part 12 of my Morgur campaign of playing Beastmen. Now, last time, while Carl was away, Morgur played by destroying Carl's home while his back was turned. So Carl is over here. He has destroyed Skarsnik and captured the Grey Mountains for himself. But while he's been doing that, uh, the, the entirety of the Reichland has been burned to the ground. Um, it does look like Midland have actually started recolonizing some of this territory, although Chaos Corruption is going to be a problem for them. I mean, Chaos Corruption in Nullen is currently at 40% and increasing by 1. Getting worse. Chaos Corruption is indeed getting worse. Chaos Corruption is getting worse in the Reichland as it increases by 4% a turn due to characters increasing Chaos Corruption by 58 Jeez. And uh, we are, of course, recruiting some Saigors into Malagor's army. So so Malagor has some friends. Malagor has, of course, got Schwizgiz. That one. He's got that guy. Uh, he's very angry. Like, he's, he's absolutely frothing with rage. He's got more than mere bloodlust. This one is filled with the primal, ruinous rage of the Lord of Battle. Look at that. Look at his face. He's... Ooh. And there's Malagor, of course. And he's got some, he's got some Ungol spears to do his... Dirty work for him. And then some Saigor to throw rocks at people. Meanwhile, Morga has... Uh, his, his army's looking pretty good. Pretty tricked out. We've got Mutalika back after his failure against the Wood Elves. That's nice. And we're currently building a pile of flesh. Which is... I guess that's fine. I, mean, I, I say build. It's not really... Build, I mean, you just lump flesh in a big pile, don't you? It's not really... There's not much architectural concern there, really. Anyway, let's end the turn. And see what happens. So the vampires and... Oh, the well... Vlad and Manfred have made kissy faces at each other. I don't know why you want to make kissy faces at Manfred's weird, perfectly spherical head, but... It takes all sorts. Oh, I did wonder if Marineburg were going to... Oh, are they spotted? Oh, no. That could be bad. No, it's fine. It's fine. It looks like they've resettled Ilhart, but then spotted Morga, but they're not done anything about it. So we should be able to destroy that army fairly easily. Does mean Morgo was spotted, but Malagor should have his cycles. So Morgo was detected. Uh, we do. We've got another Bray herd. Mad Hagibi, Mad Gubi, Beast Eye. So I think we've got the envoy to the Dark God, so we can get our Slangors now. That's going to be good. And we should have our Cygors indeed. There they are. So can we destroy? Oh, they've got a lot of mortars, haven't they? Well, we can just auto resolve that one. No problem there. Look, one of our units would take quite a lot of damage. But we got some cash. Um, I mean, we could get, I mean, three, or we, I think we'll just take the, we'll take the growth. There we go. We've got a potion of speed. That's actually, I'm, I was actually thinking the other day, you know what Morgo really needs is a potion of speed. So that is very, very useful. We killed a whole bunch of characters. And, uh, of course, you... Ray, so you can't do it. Well, we, we will encamp Malagor at least. Because I don't think he can probably take on Karaberg by himself. Oh, they've got Knight's Panther. Yeah, we might, might have to wait. I mean, I could recruit more units. We are now spending quite a bit of money to support these Cygors. They, they eat a lot, to be honest. But I still think it's well worth it. So I don't think we're going to recruit anything just yet. Morgo does have a skill point, though. So we are going to get that. Actually, something I wanted to double check was... Uh, bloop. Right. Slangors, do you have... You've got Primal Rage. You don't have Ardua of Fury. So... If we get that, will that stack? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. 
Right, Metallica, you are going... I think we're going to boost up your melee defense even higher. That's going to make you more survivable in combat. So one of our gore herd is a little bit beaten up. And that should be okay. And Chaos Corruption is climbing at 5% a turn now. That's quite... It's going up to 70... Yeah, so Public Order is, is going to be... It's going to be tricky for them to... To maintain, but we do have a couple of so this Marine Berg army over there, that's a bit of a concern. This um who are these guys? Bastone. Bastone army as well. I don't think they're both going to jump me at the same time. Or at least I hope not. Uh Bastone, you are oh shit. Okay. So this could if they both attack, if they both decide to attack me at the same time, this could go very, very badly. So if Marineberg move up to Eelheart and Bastone then come and attack me, they will reinforce each other. Ooh, ooh, that that could be that could be quite nasty. Okay, okay, fine, fine. What, what, what? Okay, what else do we want? Mold recruitment upkeep for all units minus five. Yes, please. Let's get ancient beast paths. Lost ruts, long forgotten ways once trod by hoof have been revealed. The Bray shamans urge their use. Then we'll go on to Heart of the Dark. Leadership plus ten for lords and embedded heroes, which is just fine. So we're going to go for ancient beast paths. I mean, we could potentially go for sacrifice and more because that would up reduce our upkeep. But I think it's pr well. Our research rate is seventy-one percent at the moment. Which is it's not the best. So we could up that to eighty one percent. Do we want to do that? It is it was it is fifteen thousand. Uh let's, let's go for it. Let's I just want yep, yeah, we're gonna do that. And I'm going to hope that we don't get attacked. I think yeah, we're kind of surrounded a bit at the moment. We had a similar problem last time we came here. Okay, Marineberg army there. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay, you haven't moved your army up. That's that's good. And you're sailing by. Okay, we've got the sacrifice to Morslip. Slay the unwilling during the blackest night in view of the dark moon. It's going to give us some, some upkeep reduction, income from raiding, chaos corruption, and research rate. And then I think we're going to go for ancient beast paths. So we increase our evasion when using beast paths. And then we're going to go for heart of dark and then path of war for more upkeep reduction. Okay, now we could hit Karaburg. I think that might... Although these are, I mean, we could maybe try and lure some of these. I mean, maybe if I go, oh, the ambush success chance is only 50% there. That's not great, is it? 75% chance there, though. Um, well, I think I'm, I think I'm fairly safe here. So I think I probably can hit Carrot. I think we I don't think Emil von Croden is going to try anything. So we're going to go and destroy Karaburg. If I can maybe lure out these armies, I might be able to go and destroy Marineberg. And then we can head into the Forest of Arden and finish off Morgur's quest. So, Malagor, you're going to move up to help with Karaburg. And, I mean, I've not seen the Knight's Panther. I'm tempted to... You know what? I might fight this battle just because I haven't seen the Knight's Panther before. I had some Knight's Panther. The models. So, I, can't, I, want, to, I want to see what they look like. Imperial Army doesn't look doesn't look like it knows what it wants to do. It's not surprising. They are almost completely surrounded. 
They've started on this little hill over here and Malagor and his Cygors have appeared from the rear. And they're already throwing rocks at the, the Knight's Panther, who are these guys over here. Seems they've got this, uh, this very fancy little panther pattern on them. Look at that. And uh, they're being being killed by, by boulders. Weirdly, the Cygors are anti-large, or they have anti-large ammunition. So there we go. So Ma Morgo's force is moving up and Malagor's is behind. We've moved our spearmen up to defend just in case some of these knights get any ideas. And our Centigors are flanking on the right there with the Chaos Spawn and Mutalica. And there is Oxal Rose in his chariot. He is looking absolute... Look at that. What a, what a guy. He's just rolling around. They see him rolling. They hate him because he's casting Put of Shades on their face. Gores charging in. We are going to try and pin down these Knights Panther. Finish them off. Cent uh, Center Gores being chased off there by these Empire Knights. But the Chaos Spawn moving in from the right flank. Mutalica charging after this unit of Empire Knights. Some more Chaos Spawn are going to be going and hitting these Halberdiers. Kind of chasing the, the Empire Knights into the forest there. I mean, if they run into our spears, that's no problem. Also, they're in the forest. That's not good for them. Hounds of Pestilence chewing on some crossbowmen, and the Herpes have found some handgunners to entertain themselves with. Again, the Gauls are very, very steamy. And we've got some Summon Chaos Spawn who are chopping their way through these halberdiers. I think this is our, the first proper battle with our Centre Gauls. Well, I, I say the first battle, obviously. They were at the Siege of Nullan, but they didn't do anything because they're, they're cavalry and it's difficult to find things for cavalry to do in a siege battle. However, they are going to excel themselves in this open battle here as they do have quite a lot of speed. 92 speed, which means they, are, they really do excel at chasing down units. That's exactly what they're going to do. We're going to try and get them as much experience as possible to rank them up so they can uh, get rank... Is it 7? I think 7. And uh, get the bonuses from Morga. So we're just going to chase down these last few if fleeing... Great swords and crossbows. There we go. We've given our center goals a little bit of experience now. We've got some kills. Nice work, guys. And some monies. We do kind of running a bit low on the old cash. We have spent quite a chunk. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to loot and raise. And Morgor is brave. I mean, he's insane, so I guess that's a sort of bravery. And Schwyz has got a skill point. I mean, I would... Um, to be honest, I think most of the... I mean, a Manticore is fine, but I do kind of... I think the Amber Spear and Flock of Doom are my favourite Beast of the Wild spells. So I think the Amber Spear is mostly because in Shadow of the Horned Rat, the very, very old... Warhammer fantasy battle game. The Amber Spear was basically what you you would just spam it at anything big. Trolls, rat ogres, anything big, just Amber Spear it until it fell over. So I do kind of quite quite like that. I could get I mean more speed and damage resistance. And that gives an added area of effect. 40 speed. Jeez, that would Let's get Pan's Impenetrable Pelt. Let's do that. And then Morga, level 29, I think. I'm not too bothered about Savage Runts. Warranting Savagery. Uh, Fury of the Herd. Could go for that more melee attack. I mean, we've already got quite a lot of melee attack anyway. But then they don't have much melee defense, so maybe the be more the better. On the other hand, we could maybe give... I mean, plus two melee attack is crap, isn't it? God, some of the old lords have rubbish. It's like, why? I mean, uh, okay. well, I do want more go to better in combat, but do I want that? I think I'll, I think I'll get apocalyptic vision because that just gives more melee attack in in a radius, and that's just always good. Oxal Rose, you've got a skill point. We could go for. I do like Occam's Mind Razor, so I think we'll go with that. Let's do that. So we need a little bit of replenishment. We can't encamp at the moment because obviously we just raised a city. 
and there's nothing more you can do. I don't really want to build any more units for the moment, although I'm fairly confident we're in a good place. Quietly confident. And there comes Magub. Beastmen have some weird names. I mean, the, the, particularly the the beast brachon we've got. I mean, Squizu? Squizu? I mean, that's that's a name that you need to have your tongue torn out to pronounce. To be fair, that's probably how they pronounce it. Without tongue. Although not in Oxford Rose's case, because he's obviously a Slanesh person. So he's all tongue. All the time. Now, do we go up and maybe do Malagor's quest? On the other hand, we could... I mean, maybe I just try and set an ambush for that. If we can get that Marineburg army. Uh, yeah, well, we... I mean, you keep... You really keep giving us missions to kill Carl, but it's just probably... Probably not going to happen. Absolutely not. I... I think we can. Pr I mean, what I maybe if I right, this this might go badly wrong, but I need to lure this army in. I can't do that if I've got the the Bray Bray herd nearby. So if I send them off to Wiseman, and then is there any way we get a good? Okay, I could ambush down there. Let's do that. Let's move Morgo down here. And we will lay an ambush. Malagor is going to come and join us. Hopefully that means the AI will decide to like settle Eelheart or something. And then maybe we can destroy Emil von Croak because he won't... I'm, I'm concerned that if I try and sneak around, they, they might hit me with both armies, and that could be potentially catastrophic. So if I send my Bray Herd off to go and do other things, go and, you know, play the traffic, then hopefully I can lure lure these guys into, into a battle. Do I want to get the Darkling Council? That would give us, was it 300 more? I think that's probably worth it. I mean, it will effectively pay for itself eventually. So, and the Winds of Magic is always good. Hero capacity for... I mean, we could get a Brave Shaman and actually have an agent out wandering around, which would be nice. I mean, I could do that with with the one that Malagor's got, potentially. Ah, oh, shit, Malagor's been spotted. Although that might not actually be a bad thing, because they might decide to go and attack him. Because I'll see Malagor by himself and decide that they're, they're stronger than him. Indeed, they do. So they've attacked Malagor, but that's not a but that's not a problem because Morgo is right behind him, and uh, this army is. I mean, it's basically just state troops, isn't it? They do have quite a few crossbows, and they do have some reinforcements, but not very much. This should be no problem. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, there, loving life. Also stepping on some Mongols. That's fine. So Malagor's force is it's got a nice little commanding position on top of this hill. Morga is moving his army up to to assist. Some Mongol got kicked out of position. Get back in get get back in line, stupid little 
stupid small horns. So we should have should have a good time throwing throwing boulders at the approaching Marineberg army. They do have some reinforcements moving up. They've got some Empire Knights and a General of the Empire. Our speedy skirmishing units, the Herpes, Hounds of Pestilence, and the Centigors are moving up the left flank to see if we can do a little bit a little bit of skirmishing. It's always always a fun thing to do. There go the Centigors. Because the problem with the Centigors, they have very little armour. So we've moved Tweedledee and Tweedledum up to the front. I'm totally going to name them that, by the way. They are. That is their name. I've decided. There's Mutanica. He's moving over to the right flank. And all our Gores and Chaos Spawn moving. I mean, this is going to be... Well, basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw rocks at them until they get in range. And then the entire army is just going to charge. Sometimes, you're just... I mean, what I, what I do like is... The Beastmen kind of feel like a very attack-orientated army. And just just attacking everything, just like charging forward, is very is very beastman. So there you go, Tweedledee and Tweedledee lobbing some rocks. Yep, that that did that did some good work there. Pistol is already taking a lot of damage. Centigore is going to back up because they the AI has a very sensibly, not just the pistol is, but units of crossbow, handgunners, and spears to protect them. That's pretty that's pretty sensible. So Centigore's not going to be able to, to deal with the, the missile units. We've got to be a little bit careful. Now we're going to chase down the Pistoliers, though. So they're going to take quite a lot of damage from those armor-piercing attacks and more rocks being thrown. It's not... I don't know who threw that, whether it was whether it was D or Dumb, but that was not a good rock. That was a good rock. That was... That was a good rock. That one not so good. 35 and 8 kills. Hmm. I mean, what one of them definitely definitely is doing pretty well for himself. Jeez, that, that free company militia already ready to ready to run. And the army is approaching up the hill. Big blocks of multicolored infantry. Off on the flank, we have managed to sort of chase off the pistoliers. So they're opening fire, they're now in range, and uh, that means that we just kind of need to charge. So the entire army is going to charge all of our casters, Malagor, Oxal Rose, and the other one. All casting their spells at once, we get a pit of shades there, the rest of the army comes charging down. There's Oxal Rose in his chariot, sending spearmen flying, Chaos Spawn careering into these spearmen. That's not going to last very long. Off the distance you can see Centigors opening fire on some Empire Knights and look how much damage that's doing. They, they're, those throwing axes are brutal. And very, very quickly the entire Empire army, their infantry certainly, is on the run as we charge down the hill to try and catch their missile units. The Empire Knights already routing. It's pretty instantaneous. So the missile units are still trying to open fire. Uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to last, as the entirety of the Beastmen Horde charge down the hill towards them. It's a bit of a mess. But uh, pretty, pretty effective. See, the entire em Empire army are just literally evaporated in seconds. There's still some units still still hanging around. Our Centigors chasing down these pistoliers. They're not going to last for very long. They break immediately and our Centigors can then start hunting down some of these fleeing units. The Herpes managed to pick up 46 kills. You know what, I... The Herpes. Doing bloody well for themselves. Gotta give them that. Chaos Spawn 53 kills, 36. That's all looking pretty good. Some units trying to flee off into the distance. There's almost an entire, an entire unit of crossbowmen running away. That, that, 
the hell. So the herpes are going to come and deal with them. Our centre ghouls are also charging over from the other side of the field. They're going to drop a traitor. Is it traitorous kin? Traitorous kin? Traitor kin. There we go. That's going to reduce their speed to 20. So that's not going to help them get away. Okay, that's half of Marineberg's army dealt with. And we didn't take an awful lot of damage there. Just this, this gore herd, I think, was already fairly damaged anyway. So that's why. Uh, oh, we got a gift of chaos. What did we get? Melee defense, missile resistance, physical resistance. That's fine. Oh, Malagor got that. Want to give that to Malagor? I want to give it to someone else. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold off. Replenishment wise, we'd only heal up Malagor. So let's sacrifice the captives because that gets us one step closer to getting Kazrak. So that ambush worked quite nicely. I mean, we could go down and destroy Helmgar again. Although I could push on to Marineburg. I need to get my Bray, Bray herd back. Uh, Malagor has been spotted. That's fine. Marineburg and the Empire have confederated. That does mean they've got Nullen and Grunberg back. Although... Oh, so the army is there. Yeah, they're going to have some public order. I'm actually not, not even that... Difficulty level 8, geez. Oh, they do have military there as well. Okay, so we've got Bray Shaman Familiar. We've got the Gift of Chaos, which is physical resistance, melee defense, and missile resistance. That could come in useful. I wonder... I, I think Morgur's got pretty much everything we want, though. We've got two Banners of Rage and a Gift of Chaos that gives them speed. And, well, actually... Oh, it does give them... Oh, so it increases the melee attack and they also get speed. That's good, they have evasion. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, actually, you've got the flying spy. So do I need a flying spy? Does Morgan need one? I, I don't think he probably does. I think we get the... We get the blasted standard. That does give some more missile parry. I don't actually know what that means. I mean, that could be in... Well, yeah, well, I don't know. Well, maybe. Maybe, but I, I, what I do... Yeah, let's, let's take the Gift of Chaos, because I just like the banners. The banners are more interesting. To be honest, what I would like is maybe to have the followers and banners separate, so you could have, like, three banners, three followers, and for the effects to be slightly more interesting, maybe? I think that would be quite... I think that would be my preference. Malagor has got a skill point for defeating that army by throwing stones at them. Good work there. Uh, we could increase his melee defense by... Yeah, well... Slug skin, sure. I guess we could go for earthing and then arcane conduit, because that's always good. Let's do that. Then we can get arcane conduit. Yep, that's, that's going to be fine. And I think we... In fact, can we see... Um, if I do that and recruit Lord, can we see Kazrak? Sacrifice. Yeah, can't actually see how many we need, though. No, I don't, don't need that. Yeah. So in that case, let's go and chase down this army. It shouldn't be shouldn't be too big a deal. We've ambushed them. So we're going to water resolve that. And then we're going to sacrifice them. Another the Bray Shaman and the Sword of Strife. And Wiggle Olden is dead. That's a shame. Poor old Wiggle. And it does... Oh, hello. Skalgard. Skalgard? Sca or scaling. Scaling. So they're there. Do we... I mean... I think I'll probably go and head and do Morgur's quest first. Because, I mean, he is our legendary lord. So that just makes sense. Then we can go and do Malagor's afterwards. We'll do his next. Uh, do I want Shadow Hide Missile Resistance? I'm not really that bothered about that, to be honest. We could get Fort Fury of the Herd. That's more weapon damage for our Gauze. Which... Could be useful. But then we could go for... Like, I mean, to be honest, though, the... I mean, bank, I mean well, the speed would be nice. Because Morgor is a little bit on the slow side. Deadly Onslaught. Um, yeah, okay, let's go for Primal Rage, even though it only increases his attack by two, which is absolutely garbage. And let's give him Hatred of Man. 
to give him even more. So you know, they've got 69 melee attack, 59 melee defense, 608 weapon strength. He's a bit of a beast, actually. And Mutanaka, you've got a skill point. Obviously, we're going to make him immortal so he doesn't die. And we've got another skill point to spend as well. And that's going to go... It's going to have Primal Instincts, buff up his melee defense. Just in case he gets surrounded by pikemen. He does seem to get surrounded by pikemen in every single battle I send him on, but... Uh, that's okay. Do we want to head for Marineburg? If I get this... Right, you... Clear. Right, you're going to come back with me. And we are going... Is this good ambush chance over here? Let's move over here. That seems good. We'll go and encamp. We could do with some replenishment anyway. Managor is going to come and join us. Just go and hide and see if we can give these agents a slip. Do we have anything we can build? Now we could upgrade to the tribe's high gathering, which would give us the war gores. We could go for the. To be honest, with the. Although they do have armor pit. Am I going insane? I mean, insaner. They've got armor pierce. I'm fairly sure that didn't. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, okay, so we could go. I mean, less upkeep is always good. Or we could save it to get the next rank of the pile of flesh, which will be constructed next turn. I'm not sure why it's taking so sodding long. You just have to dump a big pile of flesh in in a big pile and that should be fine. Let's get the Raging Pyre though for Malagor because that's going to give us I think that will give us another Gorble and also reduce upkeep for Minotaurs which is good because then maybe we can actually have a look at uh, actually getting uh, where are we looking? There. Because Minotaurs are going to cost us 470 which is quite pricey to be honest. So, but one that, well, I mean we could we could potentially just get Chaos Spawn. I mean I think the reason I want the Minotaurs is for the, the anti-large, which is basically... Minotaurs with great weapons are our only anti-large unit. I mean, other than throwing rocks, because the missile damage apparently is anti-large, which I guess makes sense, because if you throw a boulder at anything, it's probably going to hurt. Still. Okay, that's fine. Let's, let's just see what happens. So the Bray Herd is moving back. That's fine. You should be, you should be able to reach us, no problem. Cole has returned to Altdorf. Rocks up. The entire landscape is just on fire. He goes, what the... But I'm feeling a lot more... A lot more brave about taking on some of these armies. Before, when we snuck through, I was basically... So if, if we get attacked, this... This could be the end of the campaign, but now I'm like, if they come, come at me, come at me, Carl. Come on, try it. He's lost Helmgard's Bretonia as well. Now, I think we can take on Marineburg, but they do have another army out there somewhere. There it is. Uh, I wanted to recruit some Slangors, didn't I? And I didn't do that. Uh, they want us to kill that guy for a scroll of leeching. I'm probably not going to bother doing that. Uh, the example you said is inspirational. Have you met Morga? Uh, the heroes under your command are proud to... Yeah, okay, so they are... Once again, Morga has, has excelled himself by... I, I'm not sure, really. What the hell would he do? Ugh. Anyway, so we've managed to construct our pile of flesh, so that's fun. And now our Chaos Spawn costs 20, uh, 29. Are you shitting me? Are you sure? Okay. Fine. So Chaos Spawn costs 29 now. Which is obviously gonna gonna save us quite a lot of money. And I would I kind of fancy getting some slangles. It's gonna take a couple of turns though. I mean, well, I only want one slangle. 
Do I want one Sangle? I could get rid of I could get rid of the Ungle Spearman herd. Cause I, I kinda of feel like I need Ungle oh, do I need Ungle Raiders? Have I actually used them for anything? I mean the center goals with throwing axes are armor piercing. So any units we need to chase down, I kind of feel confident we can do that. I mean, unless there's like loads of them, but then I will not obey. that's a separate issue, isn't it? So maybe I just get rid of all of these and get like a couple of slangles because I do need the armor piercing. The armor piercing is is quite important, and I think they're better than the best of ghouls because they've got a speed of sixty-five. Which is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, let's let's get rid of them. I'm going to get a couple of Slangle. And uh, do I get Fancy and get a Pestigal? Or do I get something else? Do I make... Mm, well, I mean, I could go for a Sigal. Do I go for a Sigal? I could go for a Manticore. I could get more Chaos Spawn. I mean, there's a lot of options here. I could get another Centre with Throwing Axes. I think maybe the Sy... Well, Malagor's got Sigor, But on the other hand... I... Let's get something... I mean, the, the Slangor are quite expensive. So with that in mind, even though... Currently, we're making cash, and we could just get another chaos spawn. And for twenty nine, they're literally free. More, more, more chaos spawn. That's fun. How much chaos spawn cost here? We can't actually construct them, but I imagine they're probably the same. And we could just fill out an army with. We could just fill out an army with bloody chaos spawn. Maybe I'd do that next. We get the den. Not that we really. Not that we really need it. I could just pass some of them over. Um, I'm going to save money though because we've only got 16k. Although that is quite a lot. Obviously, if we build this, we're down to 6k. Still, that seems fine. We're going to go with that. We're just going to give a couple of turns so Morgur can recruit his Slangor and Chaos Spawn. Oh, there's Luon, Luon Kerr. Lyon, Luon Kerr. I'm not going to do a French accent. That way lies lies Monty Python references, and that's no one wants that. That does make like I, I can't fight everyone at the same. Well, or can I? Can I fight everyone at the same time? Where are you going? Are you are you coming to fight me? You you destroy my bray herd. Okay, that does mean I can kill you though. Which works in my favour, although I need another turn for my slang or Okay, so we've lost our bray herd. That's it's not the end of the world. We could get more okay, we've got the dark moon. Uh, casual replenishment, nah, beastly inclination? I mean, we could... Yes, let's go well now. Yes, I'm going to go beastly inclination. Now, I don't think I'm in range. No, I'm not. So, Brayherd has been destroyed and Malagor has been spotted. Now, I'm tempted. The problem is I'm still recruiting and I can't hit that army. I'm tempted, but I, what I think I'm going to do is just pull Malagor further into the forest and encamp again, because I need those Slangles. I don't want to stop the recruitment just yet, and I'm not in range, so... Oxal Rose, you've got a skill point. Uncanny Scent, I mean, you've got your Razorgore Chariot that you're just loving at the moment. That's that's nice. Um, otherwise, I mean, we could get... The withering, enfeebling. I mean, the withering is nice because it reduces armor. So let's get that. And otherwise, I mean, I could 
again, mon I mean, money's actually pretty good at the moment, mostly because obviously we bought all the chaos. I mean, do Mal Malagot. If you take this chaos spawn unit, how much does it cost for you to upkeep it? 102. Why is that? I mean, you don't have the pile of flesh. But I don't. I think that's the only thing that's given you more because you've got the top rank building, haven't you? They did cost about ninety before, didn't they? Okay. Well, I'm not that invested, so. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's encamp. You're still recruiting your slang gores, so we're going to have some some perfumed beast men who like preening themselves, and also who are very fast and have armor-piercing weapons. Apparently, it's a thing. That's good. Uh, unfortunately, we are running out of time, so I'm going to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.